Welcome back, guys, to another podcast video. Thanks for all the support that y'all been giving uh, these videos. Uh, we're going to be posting them every Monday. So if you have any questions uh, for me to answer, I'll go ahead and answer them. So go ahead and leave them down below on the comments. Uh, and, yeah, I'll set a reminder like every Saturday uh, so people could leave their questions. Uh, you can you can actually, you know, I'll answer all questions, guys. So uh, we have a few today. What we're going to be talking today is actually about the flow chart or the flow channel, how to implement this in your business to keep uh, consistent so you won't be too stressed and so you won't be too bored, you know. So I'll post a picture of it up here somewhere and, yeah, you could take a look at it. So enjoy the coffee, sit back, relax, and we'll see how this video goes. I'll try to um, explain this to the best of my ability, guys. Um, I'm not a good explainer. <clears throat> But basically, I was just uh, I was listening to the Joe Rogan uh, show and uh, this came out. So uh, it made a lot of sense. So I kind of wanted to share it with y'all. Basically, um, all it is, is. As you could tell, whenever let's say you're starting your business, right? And the first year you're like, man, I want to get 25 customers. Right. And of course, you don't have let's say you don't have the um, the equipment enough. Let, 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 let's say a good goal right for the first season. Let's say your goal is 50 customers, right? You want to have 50 customers. And then, you know, you're you're you're, you're stressing out to try to get those 50 customers, you know? And you get those 50 customers, now you're stressed. Now you're overworking yourself. You're like, "Man, I don't want to do this cuz it's too stressful." So basically, what you want to be doing, guys, is finding your niche, finding your sweet spot. So let's say your first season your goal was 50, right? So you got there and uh you, you know you're stressed you're uh you're overworking yourself and you're you're finding you know lawn care or any business you started uh you're not finding it too um too good you know so so you have 50 customers right you're stressing out now what you want to do is find the flow right so if 50 customers is stressing you out try let's say 20 customers right so let's say you do 20 customers and you're like you know what you know, I could do this every week, 20 customers, you know, you, you wake up pumped, you wake up uh, happy, you know, you're not stressing yourself, you're not overworking yourself. So you're at 20 customers, right? So that's a, you know, that's, that's like, that's like the flow that you want to do. Let's say you find, you do 20 customers, right? And you, you you're feeling good, you're feeling pumped, uh, you're not stressing yourself, you're at a good, you know, you're at a, at a good flow. So that's how you want to implement this in your business, guys. So you want to find your sweet spot. If it's 20 customers and you're good with 20 customers, then go ahead and do it, you know. And then let's say the next season you're like, you know what, I want to try 30 customers. So now you try 30 customers the next season and now you're stressing up a little bit, you know, bring it down to 25 customers. And then, you know, kind of like that. 25 is, you know, the second season, 25 customers, you're doing good. You know, you're you're, you're at, a, at a constant flow. You're feeling good. You know, you're pumped. You're not uh, stressing out yourself. You're not too bored. So... Yeah, guys, you want to go ahead and um, do that. Uh, find your uh, flow and uh, just keep going, man. So that's what I think. That's how I kind of want to explain this to y'all. You know, like I said, find your flow. Um, don't try to don't try to uh, like. How can I say this? Whenever you start a business, um, don't try to. I don't know, but I don't know a lot of people. They're like, oh, you know, go big or go home uh, for me. I like, you know, I like to uh, start things off slow, you know. So let's say, for instance, your first year, you know, you went a lot. You you went and got equipment. You went and got a storage room. Uh, you went and got a, um, uh, you know, all this brand new equipment, new trailers, new trucks. So now you're like in debt. And then let's say your first uh, season, you only get 15 customers. You know, you're not making enough money to pay uh, your storage. You're not making enough money to pay your uh uh you know your gas your your payments for the truck your payments for the mower so you know that's how a lot of people get discouraged and and that's how a lot of people fail their business because they they try to go big too quick you know um like i said my my opinion on this is start off slow you know um start off real slow guys uh take you know do your business as like let's say your business is a baby you know so a baby doesn't run in in, in in one month you know what i'm saying um the baby 
it um it crawls you know then it walks then it runs so that's how you want to uh, go ahead and uh, do that in your business you know go ahead and 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 take baby steps you know baby steps because if you try to go all in guys it's gonna be a lot of stress you know you're not gonna f you're not gonna find that flow channel you know now if you start off slow you know you, you're finding that flow you're finding that flow so that's what i think you need to implement in your business in order for you to stay consistent in order for you to stay um positive and um in order for you to grow your business so that's what i think hopefully i explained that good uh if i explain that good leave it on the comments down below if if you're still like what what is he saying also leave them down below like i said i'm not a good explainer but uh basically like i said excuse me this chart is basically just finding your flow of of, of you know your, your happy your sweet spot so you could grow your business sustainably so hopefully hopefully um i explained it good it's not gonna be like um one of those youtube videos hey, well, hey you know all this so this is just me explaining uh, to you what I found uh, interesting on that um, float chart. So basically just uh, finding your flow and um, finding that sweet spot, you know, slowly but surely and slow and steady wins the race, guys. Don't try to go all in, you know, take baby steps. Uh, what else? Just learn the process, man. Learn the process learn how to get customers uh learn how to have good customer service and uh just don't stress don't stress yourself man um if you're building a business like i said start off slow don't stress the more you're stressed the more you're gonna fail and um in my opinion the um the the term go big or go home i think it always fails guys why because i know i i did that before uh i had an electronic business and i went all out guys you know i went all out i was spending a lot of money i was getting a lot of money back in return but due to that due to me not learning the process on how to sustain a business it failed so what i think peewee's long care or, or or my business now that i have peewee services um i think it's working because i actually found you know my flow channel and and and, and i found the uh, my state of flow where i could build it you know you know the first season I have 10 customers the second season i had 15 um and then after that you know it went from 15 to 25 then like from 25 to uh 30 and then now we have currently like 50 customers that's gonna be my niche for this year i'm only doing 50 customers this year guys why because that's my flow that's how I want to grow my business. Um, I don't want to grow my business too quick because I know if you grow too quick, guys, it could always go quickly down, you know. So, like I said, find your flow. If if five customers your first season and you're happy with those five customers, then go ahead and do that, you know. And 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 uh, you know, just 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 how can I experiment with your business, you know? If fifteen customers. You know you're too like stressed for 15 customers then go down to 10 you know and try 10 if that's good for you then you know do 10 the first season you know and then the next season you're like hey well i want to try 15 and then the next season you try 15 and you're good then you know just keep going up on small increments you know small increments so that's what i think Alrighty, guys hopefully you got some of that uh hopefully i explained this good like I said, I'm not no big YouTuber or nothing. This is just me talking to the camera, talking to you guys, what I think. And, um, yeah, cheers. Uh, so, <clears throat> we have a couple of questions. Thanks for everybody that's been subscribing uh, this month. Well, it's, it's, it's uh, February now. Hopefully, we reach our goal. I'm not going to tell you my goal for subscribers, but keep subscribing if you like these videos, guys, so I can keep making these videos. And if you like the long cares, um long care videos too i'm gonna keep posting them so um yeah guys i have a oh yeah i haven't sent those stickers out i'm sorry i just been busy but i'll send those stickers out so if you want some stickers go ahead and send them send me a message through uh ig and i'll go ahead and send them out to you so yeah so we're gonna do the uh 
Facebook questions first. Uh, shout out to Mr. Jesus Mata again. He got a couple of questions. He's like, do, he's like, do you love your Kubota mower or do you, or will you switch to a stand on mower in the future? Um, in my opinion, the Kubota is uh, a great, great mower, guys. Uh, I love it. It has a lot of power. And uh, yeah, I'm actually trying to get a stand on mower. Uh, hopefully this year, you know, if not, then next year we'll get it. Um, like I said, I, you know, I'm good with what I have right now. And uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get. I think Kubota also sells stand-on mowers, so hopefully I get here one. I get one uh, pretty soon, if not then next year. You know, um, only time will tell. So and that's one thing too. Don't rush to. Don't rush. Uh, you know, don't rush getting mowers. You know, start off slow. You know, I got my first um, mower. My, I think the first year and a half of my business. So, yeah. Do you have any preferences? Uh, this is also Jesus uh, Mata. Shout out to you, buddy. He says, do you have any preference preferences now on equipment, steel, echo, Husqvarna, or not yet? I'm going to tell you the truth, man. I use all three of them. I love Husqvarna. Um, why? Because it's cheap. It's not cheap, but <clears throat> it's, it's uh, I use their blowers, and their blowers are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty powerful. <clears throat> I echo I use their weed eaters and their uh, edgers and then still I also use their weed uh, their weed eaters so I think all equipment is good buddy uh, like I said still Husqvarna echo <clears throat> I don't have any preferences I'll use all of them uh, I know a lot of people like oh I like steel better or I like echo better I like all three of them man to be uh, honest that's what I think just uh, find the right one for you if you like it then you know go ahead and uh like it because i know a lot of uh a lot, a lot of long care providers are like oh well, i only use <clears throat> i only use um echo or i only use steel or i only use husqvarna man i use all three of them um <clears throat> if they work they work you know what i'm saying so i use that i use toro too so i mean I, as long as they work i'll use them <laughs> all righty so we have a uh question from another buddy his name is um he's on ig this this is an ig question um his name is tumbado uh dot i so shout out to you mr tumbado uh he says uh tips on how to get more clients and how much to charge saludos from houston texas saludos man uh tips on how, how to get more clients man just basically uh, do good work man um your work will speak out for itself uh do a lot of promo uh, promoting on like facebook instagram snapchat uh google and uh eventually get some customers man just keep doing what you're doing buddy uh like i said you know learn the process and um yeah man just keep doing what you're doing how, uh, how much to charge it all depends on the lot buddy like this year for my weeklies i'm gonna do 40 dollars uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you this uh so my weeklies i'm gonna do 40 and then my bi-weeklies i'm gonna start doing them 60 on my new clients you know my og clients the the price still stays the same why because they've been there since day one so but it all depends man it all depends on the job it all depends on what you do uh it all depends on let's say you're doing a mulch job it all depends on the um on the uh on how much you get the mulch uh or or, or, or you know for me I, I i like what i like to implement is uh always like doubling up you know so let's say you spend a thousand dollars in material <clears throat> what you want to do is uh get two thousand dollars off that job you know so just doubling up and um you know that that uh i think that seems uh fair to me seems fair to the people i've been having good um uh, good uh feedback with that so i mean like i said if, if i spend a thousand dollars i'm gonna charge you two thousand and i think it's been going good so i've been getting a lot of uh clients so yeah so that's for mr tomado that i and then I have another um, questions from IG. Uh, Aaron uh, Licon, this is a uh, music uh, question. He's like, what what made you get into music? Y saludos, saludos, bro brother. Um, the reason why I got into music, man, uh, I've always wanted to get into music. I just uh, never had the chance. And I got me a guitar, man, and started playing. And um, I mean, I never looked back, man. But um, actually also the one that got me into music was ariel camacho man uh once i listened to him uh, and i seen him play the the guitar man i was like man i want to i, I want to be like him so um uh, i got my guitar and uh just started you know rolling with it 
So yeah, that's for Mr. Aron. And then uh, another IG question is J Man, J Man's ZZ Zero Zizo Nineteen, I believe. Uh, he's like, what do you like and don't like about your job? I love my job, man. The only thing I don't like right now is that we're not, you know, it's it's the off season, so we're not mowing any lawns. So that's one thing I don't like about it right now. Uh, I'm not mowing a lot of lawns. So um, yeah, I wish I was in uh, Australia with the mates over there. They, uh, I think they cut all year round. So yeah. And uh, this is uh, this is from YouTube. So. Uh, Shout out to everybody. N and N and H Long Care says Skag or Toro. Uh that's a good question, man. Skag or Toro. I never use Skag, but I've heard their 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 uh stand on line mowers are the best. So it all depends on what you want, man. If you want the bigger equipment, I say Skag. If you want the smaller equipment, uh, as far as like you know, uh, lawn mowers, like little small lawn mowers, twenty-two or uh, you know, thirty-two inch mowers, I believe get Toro. But if you're going into Skag, man, get you a stand-on mower. But I mean, both are good, man. Like I said, like I was telling uh, Mister Mata, uh, just find the, the right one, you know. And if it works, get it, you know. Uh, just get whatever whatever you can afford. If you could afford a Skag, get a Skag. If you can afford a Toro, get a Toro. They all do the same thing, man. It's just basically you're buying the brand you know so yeah and uh shout out to mr the landscape homie uh what is your best form of advertising and why the f the best form of advertisement i do is on facebook man uh i haven't done this in a while but i need to start doing it again uh i i actually advertise on facebook on the facebook ads and you can put maybe like five dollars or ten dollars and you can advertise your um your uh you know your company the work that you do and you know you can only put like twenty dollars and uh, you could choose how many days you want to advertise it for so that's what i use facebook ads um also later on whenever our company starts getting bigger we're gonna go ahead and do youtube ads but um youtube ads and google ads but um basically just advertise uh on facebook instagram snapchat uh i do tiktok as well i'm not doing that good on tiktok uh, I need to start doing more videos on TikTok. It all depends, man. You know, um, what I think the algorithm on TikTok, the algorithm on all these platforms is like, um, it all depends, man. Like you could post a video and then it'll go viral and then you post a video the next day and then, you know, it doesn't go viral, man. I don't know. It's just, I've been trying to learn the algorithm for YouTube. I've been trying to learn all these um, uh, algorithms, man. So it all depends, man. It all depends on what words you put on it too. Like, as far as the algorithm but as far as advertising man just advertise anywhere man google craigslist uh you know put um pass off flyers if you want i, I never done that but um i just advertise uh on the social media platforms or everybody's at everybody's always on youtube everybody's always on tiktok everybody's al always ready i mean always uh on facebook instagram snapchat so that's where i advertise Alrighty, so the last question is from our buddy Jesus Mata. He's asked, in the future, will you want your business to be long care business only, or will you expand into different areas of landscaping, installing sprinklers, paver, fences, retaining walls, tree work, and water features? Um, as of now, man, I'm just gonna keep it as a long care business. Uh, just going back to the flow chart, man. Um. I want to find my flow, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be too stressed because I know if I implement tree work, you know, water features, pavers, fences, I'm going to only have too, you know, so much time to do all that. So right now it's only going to be, you know, long care, man, because I know for a fact if I start doing pavers, fences, uh, first of all, I don't know how to do pavers. I don't know how to do fences. I don't know how to do it. I mean, I know how to do retain walls, but I don't know, you know, tree work. I don't, I don't have the time right now to actually like, you know, spend my time learning that and to tell you the truth man i really don't like doing that so just doing lawn care uh you know the basics man mulch uh, installing grass and lawn care that's all i'm doing this year and that's how i'm gonna keep my business for at least another five years man just doing those three things um if you how can i tell you man how can i tell you this if you find three things man or like like one thing just go ahead and run with it man and um it's how can i say it it's better having three things real sustainable 
instead of having like 20 things and like, oh, I'm gonna do one fence this week and the other, the other week I'm gonna do this or or, or the other week I'm gonna do this, you know, coming back to the flow chart, you know, you want to find that the flow, you know, so you could build your business, man. So yeah, we're, I'm just gonna keep it as a long care business right now. I really don't want to go into those areas. Why? Because it's a lot of stress and. I really don't like doing those. I've done retaining walls. I've done um, landscaping, man. It sucks, man. There's a lot of stress doing that. So my first year, my first and a half, a year and a half, I was doing that. Retaining walls. I was doing uh, mulch beds. Man, it's a lot of stress, buddy. A lot of stress because you got to get the measurements right. You got to ask. I just rather stick to the basic stuff that pays instead of, um, you know, stressing over this stuff over here like let's say we're building a retaining wall and you know you got to get everything leveled it's, yeah it's just a lot of stress man so i'm just gonna keep it right now just a long care business and then he also asked do you and did did you enjoy working with your dad in 2020 yeah man actually my dad he's still helping me out uh haven't uh brought him into the videos but um i i tend uh to see man that a lot of people like um like because i my first year doing YouTube, man, I, I posted a lot of vlogs and not a lot of people um, seen the vlogs. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like 200 people, 300 people. So when I'm finding out now, like, like people, you got to build your brand first. You got to build your uh, your audience first in, in order for them to um, go ahead and, uh, and and follow, you know. So in order for you to in order for them to see your vlogs and all that. So if you could, I mean, there's that's why right now we're not, i'm not doing a lot of vlogs until like i create my audience man until i get to at least 10 to twenty thousand subscribers i'll start doing vlogs again with my dad and um yeah man so but yeah i do enjoy working with my dad it's it's a good uh it's a good feeling you know son and dad relationship so yeah guys uh that's the end of the video for motivational monday man uh hopefully you like in the video we shot this at 4k so hopefully you like the resolution let me know on the comments down below like i said i'm still trying to work this uh, camera trying to work the lighting and all that so uh you know we're in, we're improving as we go and if you like these videos like comment and subscribe if you have any questions leave them down below if you watch the whole video give me a thumbs up and comment down below as well and um yeah man i'll just go ahead and uh i'll see you on the next one cheers guys